Alrighty, well, uh, if you can tell by the camera angle and how I'm holding the camera, looking down, obviously you can tell this is going to be, and probably from the thumbnail and title, this is going to be another, well, showing you my Pokemon card collection. From the last video, it has expanded enough to where this book is entirely filled. I filled up every single page in this book, front and back of each uh, part, and this one now has stuff in it. I, I do like the uh, the art of the the Eevee and the Glaceon. Like I really do like the art, which is why I wanted to get this one specifically. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you uh, everything like on the books and show you what I got. Um, I'm just gonna do this one first because this one is the one that has extra stuff in it. So we'll start with this one. Um, obviously we're just gonna, it's a continuation, it's updates. Anyway, we'll just get into it. Um, last time I did it, it, it was organized by alphabetical order. This time I organized it by what kind of card, like EXs, EX full arts, mega cards, the V card, stuff like that. So obviously we have all of my, well, here's starting with EXs. I got the, I got Articuno EX, two Zapdos EX, Moltres EX from the, uh, when they were the Plasma. I think I was assuming, I assume that's from one of the black and white sets. Um, I have this Charizard EX2 along with a Dragonite, Aerodactyl, Lugia EX, two of them actually, two Lugias. Um, just most of these cards are like older cards, you've probably seen them. I just like, there's not really going to be much new, but I'm still going to like just tell you about them. Just sh show them to you, but because like obviously all the new cards are in the back from the newer sets. Because um, they're like part of the new sets. Uh, two Latioses, different arts, Manaphy, Togekiss, Genesect, Magirna. Then we got to the full art EXs, full art Dragonite, full art Sceptile, full art Latios, Team Magma's Groudon EX, Zygarde EX, Volcanion EX, Mega Aerodex, we're moving to the Mega Cards now, Mega Aerodactyl, Mega Kangskhan, Mega Houndoom, Mega Tyranitar, now we're moving to the Mega Full Arts, Mega Venusaur, Mega Manetric, and then Mega Lucario Full Art. Now we move to the breaks. So I'm going to go ahead and just move the thing like this. So we have Delphox, Crobat Break, Clawitzer Break, Luxury Break, Arcanine Break, Carving Break, Mana Buzz Break, Ninetales Break, and Evelta Break. Then we have two Raichus in the GXs, a Lolan Golem EX, GX, Pinsir GX, uh, Scizor GX, Suicune GX, Entei GX, Gardevoir GX, which um, this Gardevoir um, is actually from the World uh, Championships uh, 2017 type set. Uh, I actually got this from my friend. Um, I don't know if it was a birthday present or if it was like, he just gave it to me because he knows I, he knows I like Pokemon, so. Um, also, and then uh, Glaceon GX, Palkia GX, Sigilith GX, Cinderor GX, um, Duskmane, Necrozma GX, Guzzlord GX, Naganadal, Savalai, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is also from the, uh, it's the championships, just like Gardevoir. Two Zero Aura cards, Tag Team, Magikarp, and Waylord. Um, tag Team, Latios, Latios. Uh, then we move on to the GX Full Arts. Lapras GX, Ente GX, Glaceon GX. Um, so, if you see, I have a Glaceon GX non-Full Art. I have a Glaceon GX Full Art. Uh, White Kyurem GX. Uh, Sogalia GX, Buzzwall GX, Fairbosa GX, Naganadal GX, Forks. Then, Latios Latios GX, Rainbow Tag Team, and Glaceon GX, Rainbow. I have Glaceon in a non full art form, Glaceon in a full art form, and Glaceon in the Rainbow form. I don't know if there's any other forms of Glaceon, but I have like three different forms of Glaceon. Pretty much all in the same art, basically. And then instead of GX Rainbow. These are all my rainbows. That's all the rainbows I have. Then we move it to the Vs. I have Lance's Charizard V from the Celebrations. Uh, I got a Pikachu V, a Flying Pikachu V from Celebrations. So some of these are actually uh, some newer ones. Um, Surfing Pikachu V from Celebrations, two of them. Gengar V, which is uh, actually one of the newer ones I got too. Uh, Mewtwo, uh, if you can actually see it on here, focus um the symbol that's the go symbol because i got it from the pokemon go set um scissor v um tyranitar v the tyranitar and if we go down here agron infernape lucario this lucario and the tyranitar 
are actually from some of the newer uh, like sets that I had recently gotten opened and even opened on my channel. I believe they were a part of the birthday uh, card opening video when I got cards for my birthday and I opened them up on a, for a video. Uh, these were two, I think they were promos from the thing, uh, is where I got them from. I got Reggie Gigas V, Simiseer V, Zamatenta V, Hiram V, Cinderace V, Diddy V, uh, Alcremi, Duraladon, Duraladon, two Duraladons, one Dragon, one Steel. Um, so I got two Duraladons. Um, and then I have a Zamazenta V in Fighting Form and one in Steel Form. Um, let's see, I think, I think they're both in the, in the same form. Uh, but isn't it like Zamazenta and Zacian, they don't become steel type till they like get their items and change form. But in their non like form with item, like Zacian is a pure fairy and Zamazenta is pure fighting. But once they it's, are, uh, attain this, also this is from a uh, celebration pack. Uh, once Zamazenta enters its form along with Zacian uh, with their item, they become they get the steel type added to them. So I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's what it is. Then, um, these two, the Reggie, the Reggie Dragos and Reggie Alecki, um, they were some of the first uh, Crown Zenith cards I opened. Um, they were some of the first packs I went to GameStop and bought three of them. Um, and I was, and I, I don't know if I told this, I think I did. Um, I actually had to switch out some packs because some of the boxes, because some of the boxes they're supposed to have four Crown Zenith packs uh, within each, along with like the promos and stuff. Um, some of the packs only had three packs. Uh, they didn't have all four, and I would assume they would all still be in the same price. So, good thing I noticed that. Otherwise, I wouldn't get. I would have been getting like two boxes with four, and one with uh, just three. So, luckily, I saw that, and was able to be able to, well, have four in each box. Though, for the for all three boxes, it came less than a hundred dollars. I seriously could have probably bought all the boxes on the shelf. There weren't very many. But I probably could have bought all the boxes on the shelf, and it would, it would, it would have been fine. Like I, I it would have been fine. Um, so anyway, I got two Reggie Dragos and a Reggie Lucky. Uh, the two EVs and these two Statlands, uh, also this Hatterene. They're all from some of my Crown Zenith openings on my channel and stuff that I've gotten. Um, so just wanted to mention that these are what they're, those are from. But I have two of them of each from Crown Zenith. Um, then Galarian Curse Levy, which I actually got uh, full arts so right in the full art V's. Um, I got this from a, from a, uh, excuse me, from a Champion's Path pack. I was trying to get the Charizard, but I didn't have any very many packs. Uh, Lucario V, this, let's see, yep, it says promo on there. Um, this was also, a, this was a promo, Lucario. Um, and it, if anyone's opened up any kind of like Champion's Path, uh, where they train the boxes, they know that the Charizard is a promo from that. Hattering VMAX, uh, this came from one of the, cell, from one of the um, Crown Zenith packs. Um, and I talked about how I really like the art on the card, how I think there's like a story going on here with Gigantamax Hatterene and the lights in the backgrounds being more Pokemon Gigantamaxing and stuff. So I, talk, I talked about that and I think the, I really like the art, plus I really like Hatterene. So then I got the Flying Pikachu VMAX uh, full art, which from a Celebrations pack when I opened up some Celebrations. Um, I don't know, where did they get this ditto? I, I think I've had this ditto. I don't remember what, what set I got it from, but I've had this ditto for a bit. Not too long, I don't think. I think I don't have it for too long. Then we have Zero Aura V Max and two of the same Rayquaza V Max, all from Crown Zenith. Um, there are technically two different arts of Rayquaza V Max, and I got both of the same art. So, eh, it's whatever. Rayquaza is cool. I don't know how valuable this card is, like how much people like the card, but I mean, love like Rayquaza. So maybe in due time it might go up in price. I don't know. Um, Anyway, let's move on. So I have Crobat VMAX. I've had this for a while. Now I'm gonna zoom out. Yeah, uh, I have eight Lucario VMAX cards, um, all of the same art because they're all the promos from the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer boxes. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can show this good. So let me move this down. Let me move this to the side. Um, I'm gonna, I'll move this too. Um, so I'm gonna move the camera. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that down here is not a crown zenith. Uh, it is a cha it's the champions path. You can slightly see champions. Eight, eight elite trainer boxes. I've had, I have all my trainer boxes that I've ever gotten stacked up here. Um, 
Yeah, I think that, yeah, all, these are all the trainer boxes that I've ever opened and gotten. Uh, they're all stacked up here. There's, you can see the two other ones back there. But anyway, I have these eight Lucario VMAX cards from that. Um, and because I have so many, I'm thinking that like maybe I should sell some or kind of give like maybe a couple to my friends or so just because, eh, we're all nerds. We don't all like Pokemon as like at least as much as I do, but my friend uh, is getting into Pokemon, like or opening up cards, I believe, because he's not just into Pokemon cards because he's apparently opening up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, I believe as well. So he, it's getting, it's, but it's still Pokemon and you, it's, he likes cards. So giving, I feel like I'd want to maybe give him one of these Lucario's. Uh, I have a, another friend who also likes Pokemon. I have technically two friends who really likes Pokemon, so I can give them cards too. And I have another friend which they don't really like uh, Pokemon like as much as we all others do, but like they're like they still think it's interesting and like maybe and we're friends, so of course they'll like accept accept like a gift from me. So I could do that, and any others I have, like I want to keep like two of each, so I could just sell the rest. Anyway, moving on, we have Lucario V Star, which is another promo. I can zoom in on the promo there go focus 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 it's not it's not really focusing it's just promo in there um and then two of the semi seer uh v stars uh these were not promos they were, they are pulled from the crown zenith packs i've got two um pretty much everything else on this page was i think besides lucario lucario came from it was probably, I think it was probably from, like, I guess it was a Lucario V-Star box or whatever, um, I think. But everything else, like these six here, these are all from Crown Zenith. I got the Leafeon V-Star, the Regigigas V-Star, uh, I got, and I have the Mewtwo. The Mewtwo Fighting Charizard V-Star from Crown Zenith. It is such a cool art. I've noticed that people are selling it for, like, $100 to $200, I believe, ungraded. So, like, I mean, that's cool. I don't really have any intentions to sell this, though um because it's just it's just such a cool art so like I'm, I'm like i'm keeping this card for like as long as i want um anyway and then we have the zacian v which it's a v card um which technically i should put the v full arts back pages but i don't i don't feel like sorting these again so it, it's whatever um anyway i got the zacian v stock because these are with the crowns unit anyway um i got the zacian v art like full art and it, it's just such a cool art like I know, most a lot of people don't really care that much about the Zacian, but this just is such a cool art. Like it looks like a tapestry. It's so cool. And then the Hisuian Samurai V, which I think a lot of people actually like this art, and I am one of those people that do love this art. So when I pulled this card, I was like, oh yes, that's such a cool art. I love it. Like it's just such a cool art. Samurai V, or like or Hisuian Samurai, is one of my least favorite of the starters from Legends of Arceus. But it, it's still cool. I love all of like the starters. Like, I mean, Typhlosion, it's a little basic, but it's still cool. It's Ghost Flames are cool. But Samurai, it, it's cool. Decidueye is my favorite though. I love assuming Decidueye. But this card is just such a cool art. I got the Drapion V. Uh, I pulled this art in the online first um, and I pulled it finally in real. So that's cool. And then uh, these from Celebration, the Zacian, uh, Luxray and Groudon, all like the reprints of like what the old cards looked like. Uh, I got these. Is the Zacian a promo? Yeah, the Zacian's a promo. Um, yeah, because that's right. It was a, there was a Zacian Celebrations box, and I bought that. That's where the Zacian came from, uh, the promo. And then Lux, Rain, Ground, and I pulled from the packs. Um, then I have some of these, like, uh, these are, like, the the uh, alt arts and stuff like that, uh, which will include, like, the ones from Crowns of Unith and stuff. It's just the ones that aren't, like, they're, they're not the cards that look like this, where it's, like, it's got the border uh, with, like, the Pokemon and their moves, like, where like there's like a thing separating the moves and stuff where it's like this it's like a full complete like art with like backgrounds and stuff like that so i got this restaurant i feel like the restaurant molga the dene they fit in like with this thing um so that's i have those i got the pikachu with uh hikari sleeping together i got the pikachu from crown from celebrations which is it's not it's actually pretty common when you open up a ton of celebrations pack i only got one but it seems to be pretty common and then i got the kong Fei from Crown Zenith. So that's uh, that's cool. Um, moving on, I have Miltank, Two Thievals, Turtwig, Lunatone, Solrock, Riolu, Manaphy, and Swablu, all from Crown Zenith. Miltanks, obviously, obviously these are newer, so I, should, I probably should talk about these. 
Uh, mill tank, I mean, just look like the art with mill tank and all the food, it looks, the food looks so great. And I, I just love the Stevel art. I've talked about it in some videos before, but not too many people have seen them. And I feel like more people see the videos where I just like talk about all of the cards I have. Um, you have the Thievals, it, it's just such cool art. Um, the Turtwig, the Turtwig is really cute. Um, I got Luniton and Soul Rock. It's, it's, it's whatever. Some of the, uh, this, I don't remember, I think it was, I think Soul Rock was the first one I pulled. I don't remember, I'd have to go back and look at my other openings. The Riolu, I actually get this out of my, one of my more recent openings, Crown Zenith, and the Riolu, it's, it, it's a really cool, cool art. I love Riolu, it's so great, it's such a cool art. Manaphy, uh, I'm getting tired, I'm getting hot. Um, Manaphy, it, it's a mythical, it's got a cool art. I, I went more in depth in the video I pulled it from, so if you wanna see those, like just go watch that video, they're on my channel. You shouldn't have, you, I don't have too many videos on my channel, so you wouldn't have to scroll too far. Um, I got Swablu, just flying in the air, it's so cool. Two Poochianas, um, it's it's Poochiana, probably one of the more common ones to pull. And then I got four of the barrels. Is, is, that a, is, that, is that a common one to pull from Crown Zenith? Because I got four. Like, it's an, it's an evolution of a Bidoof, but it's like, I pulled this more than Bidoof. I have two Bidoofs. Why do I get so many barrels? Then I got the Paris, which I pulled this first in um, online, but now I got it uh, as a physical card. Um, oh, and two other Paris, so I got three now. Yeah, I got the Diancy, and I went more in depth on how I really like this Diancy card. Um, so that's a cool art, it's a historic card. Now, moving on to the Shinies. Now, um, from here down, it doesn't really exactly have, it's not like, I don't know if like, in what they said it's where we're from, they had shinies, or like, it was like, yeah, like these are shinies, or if it's just like, yeah, it's just, a, it's just an EX card, but the art is just shiny. Either way, my rules that I'm making for my organization is if the art is shiny, whether the Pokemon is stated to be shiny or not, like how with these cards, it's a full art with the sparkles, or if on the card, like it would say like radiant or shiny, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as the art is shiny, I'm counting it as shiny. So I got the Rayquaza EX shiny, Mega Gardevoir EX shiny, Darkrai as a shiny, Zygarde GX shiny, and here we got the shiny full arts, which is Eldegoss V, which is a promo. It was from the Eldegoss box. Phalanx, not a promo, because it wasn't, I don't know if there's any box of Phalanx, I don't think there are, but I pulled this from a pack, it wasn't a promo. Dragapult and Dragapult VMAX, uh, these are both promos from the same box, and Lapras VMAX, which is, in, which is not a promo, and I actually pulled it from, I opened up a Pokemon Go, like little tin, and it had a pack from another set. I don't remember what set it was from, probably Hidden Fates, I don't know. Um, and that's where I got this Lapras. Next shiny, Clobopus. Not a, it's, it's, there's no promo for that, but I pulled that Clobopus from a pack, so that's cool. One of my only shinies of like, where it's just like a normal card, but the art is just shiny with the sparkles. And it's like not really a background, it's just a hollow background with the shiny and the sparkles. I only have one, it's Clobopus. Moving on to Radiance. I pulled Radiance Felix. I don't remember what set I pulled it from, but I pulled a Radiance Felix. That was my first Radiant I ever pulled. Radiant Eternatus. Um, I believe I pulled, I don't remember which one I pulled first. Radiant uh, Eternatus or Charger Bug, but I pulled these, this Eternatus and like one of these Charger Bugs before, like they were the first two of the three Radiants you can get in Crown Zenith. But I have Radiant Eternatus, three Charger Bugs, as you can see. And then we move on to my most latest Radiant, Radiant Charizard. That was in my, that's literally my most recent video I have uploaded. Not too many people have seen the video, um, but literally pulled it on the first pack. Literally on the first pack. If you wanna see that video, it's the most latest video on my channel. So you can go watch that. It, and I think the thumbnail's pretty good. I worked, like the thumbnail at first, it was just a copy and paste of the first thumbnail from part one of the video, but I updated the, the thumbnail. And I think the thumbnail was cool. So, but I put Radiant Charizard, I've been hunting for this thing. Like I've been saying in all the videos, I've been looking for Radiant Charizard or the Cynthia's Ambition. Uh, but I've also added looking for the Friends and Sinnoh full art because it has Cynthia on there and it's just a cool art. Now, as you could see from the side, which you've seen before, Galarian Zephyrus V, uh, gold card, secret rare. I pulled that uh, in a video, made it into a short and the short got a lot of views. The video hasn't seen as many views, but uh, there should be a link to the video where I pulled that from. Life Life Herb uh, Secret Rare, I've had this for a long time. There's a little bend in it from where I brought it to school with me to like show my friends and it got a little bend in it. It's it's whatever. 
then I move on to the floor of trainers, like where it's actually people and not Pokemon and secret rares. Um, but I got Professor Elm, Steven, uh, Professor's Research, which actually came from Ground Zenith, Crush Awake, Volkner, I've had these for a while. I don't remember what sets I pulled them from. Volo, also from Crown Zenith. So that's everything. That is everything from this book, from this um, book here. Moving on to the Glaceon and Eevee book. I'll move this one out of the way. Um, I have to open this, it has a zipper. Um, so I'm doing this with one hand. So here we go, and there we go. There's only three cards. It's not, it's not very full. It's just finishing off. I got the Adamant, which uh, I don't remember where I got this from. It wasn't Crown Zenith. Um, I don't remember which set I pulled this from. And then I got Gladion, which I've had for a while. And this is one of like those rare, uh, like textured, uh, like rare um, energies that you can pull from Crown Zenith. And I got a steel one. The difference is between this and a hollow is that the hollow is not really textured. This actually has a texture to it, like a fuller card. And also down here, you can see uh, it says 159 or 159 with the star indicating it's a rare, while the regular like energy hollows don't have that. Now, this video is going over 20 minutes long, but I also wanted to show you this because in all of my Crown Zenith videos, I've pretty much been saying that like if I get a Fred's and Sinnoh card, I keep it because it has Cynthia on it. So this is where I'm keeping kind of like this, uh, the collection. Now, this Lapras that I have here, it's a pretty rare uh, Lapras. It's from the fossil set. Uh, as you can see, and it's not like it's from the from the dates 1995, 1996, 1998. I don't really know how much it's worth, but I know that it's a hollow and it's it can be pretty rare. So I have this, keep been saving it here, and I have uh, I'm a champ and another Lapras, but they're in a they're in my Pokemon Pokedex books, so they're also safe. But those are my only hollows of like some of the older sets, and the Machamp is from the first edition. So uh, this is where I'm basically like. Please don't judge me for this, but I am making a collection of basically full art female Pokemon cards, as no global call it from the Simp economy. Now, I am making an exception for Lucimine and Cynthia. You can you can picture why. Anyway, I have Lucimine as a Prism card. This is my only like actual like Cynthia card like as just Cynthia and it's the reverse hollow. So it's a, it's more rare than the other Cynthia card you can pull from uh, Ultra Prism. And then here's like some of my friends in Cynthia. This is basically just so I can count, like let you guys see how many I pulled. So here's one, two, and then it kind of like skips cause I got the Alicia Sparkle, which is also from Crown Zenith. Um, I've had this Karina full art for a while. Then we have friends in Cynthia, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have pulled fourteen friends of Sinnoh, and I have saved all of them. So that is pretty much like my entire collection that I wanted to like kind of update on. Um, I could also show you my Pokemon Pokedex, but that is more of like a video for its own video. That is pretty much my whole collection right now in terms of like rare cards or personal collections. Anyway, that's all I wanted to really share with you guys. Um, technically, I have another book over here that has like hollows in it, but it's hollow trainers and it's it's not really rare stuff. It's, it's just a collection, which I don't really care too much about anymore. Anyway, that's all I have. Um, if you guys like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and watch my videos all the way through. And if you're literally hearing me say this, you did that. Thank you so much for doing that. Like it really helps out a lot. And that is all I have. Thank you and goodbye.